Hi there and thanks for clicking on this video guys. The support you are giving to this channel is simply amazing, keep up the great work. Today I have made this special video for you. I have been invited to see Fallout 4 at the Quakecom to see the preview of Fallout 4 and I am here to reveal you its secrets. I don't know if I am allowed to but who cares. Why was Fallout announced 6 months before its release? This was done because Bethesda tried to get reduced the amount of time between the announcement and the release to keep focused the attention of the medias. If they would have announced it a year ago, the attention of the game would have decreased by time for its release, as many Kickstarter and indie games would have been released. How does the skill and perk system differently work compared to Fallout 3? The main character's abilities would be divided by the letter S, P, E, S, I, A, L where S is, for example, as strength. Each letter has a column, and every row has 10 abilities. Every level up will unlock an ability on the row, starting from the first one to reach then the 10th one. Every single ability has then an amount of power percentage that is unlockable thanks to the points gained and leveling up on the same ability. Which is the very nature of the game's intro? The part of the game before the nuke bomb is more or less like the default one, with some exceptions. No side missions or additional quests. It is just a part to better link the relationship between husband, wife and son, make characters of the game. Which is the relationship between the different development studios with Zenimax. Every studio collaborates with the others, having information, sharing information and codes. ID Software collaborates with Bethesda to improve the shooting sections, giving feedback and suggestions on how to always improve it, as it will be a more important part compared to Fallout 3. Why they didn't use the ID Tech 6 for Fallout 4? The hardest part to program was the realism of each scene and the enormous amount of possibilities given to the player. When you get in a room for example, um, it's like if every object is controlled by laws of physics. If you get in a room and you throw a bomb, every object is thrown in different unpredictable directions. This thing wasn't achievable thanks to ID Tech 6. Doom will have interactive objects, but it won't be the hurt of the experience. In Fallout there are thousands of objects that you can interact with. Mr. Handy, for example, can be damaged, but inside him there won't be just a texture, but different parts that you can interact with. More colors will ruin the dark atmosphere. Fallout 4 will be less dark than the third one. This is a choice from the developer team. Fallout 3 was the story of a guy born in the vault that left it to search his father and save the world to bring it as it was once in the past. Here the plot is different, as the world is the one it is. The destruction of the planet is considered normal, and there are no attempts to get back the world as it was. This is the reality and there is nothing to do, nobody wants to do it. People in this world simply try to survive in a changed world. And this was everything that I could reveal from it. For more news, you know that you just need to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share your opinion by leaving a comment. Did you already knew these features? Also leaving a note, a vote, will let the community know if this video is great or not. So why shouldn't you leave it? A massive cheers for watching it until then. You are the best watcher ever. Have a great day ahead.